Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a video on how to buy a bed. Now this is something that I've been meaning to do for ages, ever since I did the mattress review video. Um, if you want to have a look at um, the mattress that I bought and reviewed, you can check out the link for that in the description below. But today's video is all about my tips on how to buy a bed and just the things to take into consideration if that's something that you're doing. I know that when I was looking for a bed, I didn't know where to start really. There's so much choice out there. There's so many different places to buy them from. People have all different opinions and yeah there's lots to think about so hopefully this video will be very useful to you if you are in that process or if it's something you've got coming up. So based on sleeping on average around eight hours a night we spend a third of our day in bed so it is very important to get this right. By the time you've hit 30 you will have spent 10 years in bed. I'm also going to include how uh, you can save a bit of money when you're buying a bed as well and uh, just some little things to look out for that took me by surprise I guess in the process um, that I think will definitely be useful to you. If you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe, I do regular videos on household stuff, a bit of DIY and renovation and general lifestyle. I did think about naming this video bedroom tips but then I thought AdSense might stop the adverts on it so yeah. It's how to buy a bed. My first tip is to measure the room where your bed is going to be going. A lot of people forget to do this and it is essential that you do this. The bed is the most prominent thing in your bedroom. It's the thing that's gonna take up the most space. You need to measure the length of it and work out how much room you're gonna have at the foot of your bed. And also you need to measure the width of it and figure out how much space you're going to have either side of your bed so you're going to have room to walk around it. I'd say you need at least um, ideally a couple of feet either side so you're not going to be having to walk sideways around your bed and also take into consideration whether you're going to be having bedside tables either side because obviously they can take up a bit of room as well. It's also good to measure the height of the room if you are considering going for anything fancy like a four poster bed because ceiling height is going to affect how good uh, your bed is going to look in that kind of a space and also if you're in an attic room maybe you've had your loft converted take into consideration the height there and if the walls are sloping then you need to have a think about that because you don't want to be bumping your head when you get out of the bed. There's some apps that you can check out, I'll link any below, that make measuring that a little bit easier or you can just go around with a trusty tape measure. I'm also going to leave you guys a chart of the standard bed sizes down below. Don't forget to check that your mattresses match up to those because some mattresses can be a little bit different especially if you buy them from somewhere like Ikea. So now you've measured the size of your room, my next tip is to go for the biggest bed that you can to fit within that that's not going to look ridiculous. So now you've figured out the size of the bed you want, next you need to sort of decide on what type of bed you want. And these fit into three main categories really. The first one being a divan, which is a very simple wooden frame that's covered in fabric. And sometimes these will come with storage options underneath, sometimes they won't. They kind of look like the sort of beds that you would find in a hotel room I guess. They're usually quite lightweight which is a benefit and often they're quite a lot cheaper as well. The next kind is a bedstead or a bed frame so these could be made out of metal or solid wood usually. Sometimes they'll come in a cheaper wood like an MDF if they're from somewhere like Ikea. They come in all sorts of different styles and they also have the option to have storage underneath uh, that's built in or you can obviously just use the open space underneath which can be really handy. The only thing to watch out for is sometimes these kind of frames can be a little bit flimsy and rickety. When you're in the shop give them a little shake. If they're already rocking a bit from side to side then I think that is definitely a bad sign. And the third kind of bed is a storage bed so this could be something like a day bed that's got drawers built in underneath or it could be a huge double ottoman bed where the whole thing lifts up so the entire mattress and the bed frame lifts up and you've got all of that space underneath to throw suitcases in or clothes and bedding or whatever you like. 
The only thing to consider with these is they are very heavy. My next tip is to have a really good think about the amount of storage that you want to get from your bed. So if you buy something like a divan that's gonna have two drawers or maybe four drawers underneath, there's a fair bit of storage there, but that's storage that's more suitable for clothes because you've got to get the drawers open and then slide things in. Whereas if you want to store things like suitcases, larger objects, then you might want to go for a bed frame where you've got the open space underneath and you can just shove things under there. If you are lacking space around it, the Ottoman bed is a really good idea because that one is lifting straight up, so you don't need to get in from around the sides at all. And you can then literally throw everything in there. Now something that I didn't realise until I went about buying my bed was that beds actually come in different heights and they also have started doing some really clever designs that are specially for certain types of rooms. So if you do want a bit more storage under your bed, you could go for a higher bed, which is what I've done. So it's a very simple bed frame, but the actual legs are that little bit higher, which means that you can get more stuff underneath. So I can get some pretty tall crates under there. The other thing I didn't know is that some beds are designed for smaller spaces in that they don't have any sides on them. So these are a bed that has no um, sides going around, so the mattress will literally just sit on top of the frame. With so many loft conversions, there are also special beds that are now designed specifically for those, which are much lower and are gonna look a lot better in a room with uh, sloping eaves or a room with a lower ceiling. So now hopefully you've got an idea of the size of the bed you want, the sort of bed that you want, and so it's time to start hunting around and sourcing one. So I would start off by having a look online. I'm just gonna read out a few different places to have a look. I'll start with the lower end uh, of the budget and we'll work our way up. Um, so let's start off with, let's make one for free. You could go and get a load of pallet crates and build a platform. How cool is this? I always think it is a great idea to be creative and you don't have to go straight for the obvious or easy option. So yeah, by all means, you could make a bed. The next thing uh, you could do is buy a second-hand one. You could go on somewhere like eBay or Gumtree or Spock, I think it's called. Uh, it's a new boot sale app, I think they probably sell them. And then the next uh, place is obviously Ikea, so they do um, flat pack beds, very affordable. Um, another sort of very cheap and cheerful place to have a look would be Argos, and then I would also check out Next. You've got places um, going a bit more um, more expensive, like not on the high street, definitely worth a look at them. Um, Made do some very nice beds. They're also where I got my mattress from, so you can check out the mattress review video if you want to, I will link that below. You've got John Lewis, which does very good um, guarantees on all of their stuff. Habitat do some really nice ones. And I actually bought my bed in the end from Warren Evans. I'll tell you a bit more about um, the deals that I got later on. Um, the other places you can go are the specific bed shops like Dreams or Benson for beds. Again, I'm gonna list all of the places that I've mentioned in this video below. So if you wanna pause me at any time, shut me up, go make a cup of tea, do a bit of browsing and then come back. So now you've made a short list of some designs that you really like and you think it can look good. And so now is a great idea to go and try them out if you can. So if the store has got a showroom nearby, then go along and try the bed out. And if you do have a partner, take them as well. Don't be embarrassed to lie on the bed. You are in a bed shop. Get on the bed, try it out, lie down properly, try it out on your side. And while you're trying it out, think about things like the headboard and take into consideration what your lifestyle's like. I mean, you may love reading in bed, in which case you might want quite a solid headboard like we've got where you can just lean up against it. Um, or more than likely, you're probably on your phone um, quite a lot, uh, scrolling away. So if you do that, again, you might want a headboard that you can lean against. And then some questions you might want to ask is if it comes in different finishes. Um, I know that the one that we bought did, and you could actually take um, little pieces of wood home to try out. I think we went for like a medium oak, in case you're interested. And I will try and link the one um, that we've got as well, just in case um, you think, I'll just buy his bed. 
Something to ask them is about the delivery and how the bed is going to arrive. So if you're getting it from somewhere like Ikea, they will usually deliver for you for a certain amount of money, but that bed is gonna arrive flat pack unless you go for their building service. So just take into consideration that beds are very heavy and if it is gonna be delivered, you wanna know whether it's coming up the stairs and whether it's gonna be assembled or not so you can make appropriate plans for that. My next tip is on discounts and sales. So you found the bed that you like and the chances are it may be full price at the moment. So it's definitely worth asking the store that you're buying it from whether it's likely to be going into the sale anytime soon. Most shops will often have a 20% off everything sale at some point coming up. I know that Habitat do it regularly, which, you know, on something like a bed, 20% is gonna be a pretty big amount of money. And also with Warren Evans, when I bought this one, it actually wasn't in the sale. So I asked the guy in the store when it was going to be in the sale and he said to me, oh, we just have half the things in the sale, half the things not in the sale, and we just alternate it like every two weeks. But if you wanna just get this one now, I'll put it for you, uh, through for you at the sale price. So definitely worth asking. If I hadn't have asked that question, he would have just charged me the full whack. So definitely ask. You can always follow the stores on social media or give me a follow. I will always retweet any useful um, sales that are coming up or things that I think are good deals. Final tip is on how to get rid of your existing bed. There's loads of different options here. You can, of course, phone up your local council to collect it, but it's just gonna to go to landfill. So a better option, if your bed is in good nick, would be to offer it to friends and family. You could also put it on Gumtree, you might make a bit of money for it, or on eBay, and then someone's gonna come and collect it from you, which is great or you could offer it to the British Heart Foundation and they will come and collect it for free as well and they will sell it in one of their shops and make some money for an excellent cause. So plenty of options there to get rid of your old bed. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did so I know to make more similar videos like this in the future. And also let me know in the comments below if you've got any other uh, tips on how to buy a bed, if there's anything that I've missed. I love reading all your comments, they always make me laugh. Um, so yeah, please um, do feel free to uh, share anything that you think below. And also don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new here. I'd love to have you back for another chat uh, here again very soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm halfway through one about beds.